Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, April 13, 2022. Let's rest our minds with a brain break. See you next time for our next Brain Break and SEL Technique. What an amazing way to start the day. Now let's go to Word of the Day. I can't wait to learn something new. Hey Randy, sorry I was late. The hallways were so crowded and everyone was scurrying to the next class. I get it. The hallways are always so hectic at this time of the day. Yeah, and I didn't want to get involved with all those scurrying people, so I took my time. I understand. All of those people rushing around. I wouldn't want that to happen to me either. <laughs> yeah. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on Word of the, the day. day. Let's scurry on to the sports highlight with Aiden. Thank you, Valencia. Sports fans, in just two months, British lawyer Victoria Evans braved big winds and waves to break the record for the fastest female to row solo across the Atlantic Ocean. With only her boat for company, she set off on February 11th and arrived two months later in the Caribbean on the island of Barbados. She beat the previous record by eight days. Evan saw some super cool creatures such as turtles, sharks, tons of fish, and a pod of dolphins. Although super proud of her record, it was incredibly challenging and she had no plans to get back in a boat anytime soon. Water you know. This ought to see shall be one to remember. Now let's see what's cooking with Sonia. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is crispy chicken patty, hamburger bun, broccoli, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please be sure to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's get back to Valencia. That sounds so delicious. Scholars, your books are on sale now. The price is now $35. Your books are only sold on myschoolbooks.com. Get yours now. Patriots, let's take a moment to congratulate our newly elected Spring 2022 Chapter Officers of the National Junior Honor Society. Great job, Patriots. Keep on working hard. Sports fans, tomorrow our boys baseball team has a game against Highlands. It starts at 4 p.m. Let's go, Patriots. Patriots, get ready. The Easter Bunny is coming to Pines tomorrow. Kindergarten through second grade, you are invited to an egg hunt that starts at 9 a.m. There is food, games, music, and prizes. Don't forget to dress to impress. Scholars, tomorrow is also an early release day and Friday is no school. I hope you enjoy your early start to the weekend. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Destiny. Thank you, Valencia. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather in Pines will be a high of 84 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy skies. Today is not looking like a hot day, so look forward to spending some time outside. In other weather news, we're going to talk about what to do when you get a tornado warning or alert. Firstly, don't look for the tornado, but if it's in sight and looks like it's moving, that means the tornado is getting closer. If you're at home, move to a closed off area such as a closet or bathroom. If you're in a mobile home, seek shelter nearby. If you're in a bigger building, like a school, steer clear of open places like cafeteria or gymnasium. If you follow these precautions, you should be okay. Now, let's see what you patients have to say with Patriot On The Go with Vani. 
Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm your host, Vani. Now let's hear our Patriots' responses to today's question, which is, if your toys were like the toys from Toy Story, what do you think they would do when you're gone? Not see those answers, Patriots. Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Mm-hmm. Well, I have a question for you. If your toys were like the toys from Toy Story, what do you think they would do when you're gone? Hmm. Play in my playroom. Oh, so like, wait, which toys are you talking about? Like, like toy cars or? Hmm, angry bad toys. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Not to your next Patriot. Really great answer. Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Yes. Well, I have a question for you. If your toys were like the toys from Toy Story, what do you think they would do when you're gone? Mm, play with Spider-Man toys. Ooh, nice. That's very creative. Well, thank you for answering. If your toys were like the toys from Toy Story, what do you think they would do if you were gone? Um, move around like they always do. You think they actually move? Uh, no. No? Okay. <laughs> well, cool. Do you like the movie Toy Story? Yes. Oh, so do I. Well, thank you for coming out here today. Not see your next Patriot. Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Yeah. Well, I have a question for you. If your toys were like the toys from Toy Story, what do you think they would do when you were gone? I think they would like just play chess board together and all and just go like, hey, I won. <laughs> so like playing games. Oh, okay. Well, like, do you wish that was actually true? Do you like the movie Toy Story? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like cool. really cool and heartbreaking. <laughs> well, thank you. I love that. Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Yeah, please. Well, I have, I have a question for you. If your toys were like the toys from Toy Story, what do you think you would do when you're gone? Spy on them. Spy on them? You think they would spy on you, basically? I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, it's fine. Um, well, do you like the movie Toy Story? I do. Oh, it's a really good movie. In my opinion, it's one of the best ones. Well, thank you. Now it's your next Patriot. If your toys were like the toys from Toy Story, what do you think they would do when you're gone? They will walk away. They would walk away? Would they, like, throw a party or...? Um, no. Okay. Well, what type of toys do you have? Like marbles. Oh, nice. So they would roll around. Okay. Well, do you like the movie Toy Story? No. Yes. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Well, thank you. Well, that's it for today. See you guys next time on Patreon On The Go. Bye. Thank you, Vani. Today's birthday boy is Abdul Warith Oladel. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Peyton. Patriots, here, Pots Expectations represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Silvera, Miss Barrow, Miss Onley, Miss Ayim Dinkwa, Miss Chang, Miss Stone, Miss Shadid, Miss Blanc, Miss Dorstil, Miss Manon, Miss Kempo, Miss Velez, Miss Grant, Miss Newton, and Miss Santori. You all had the correct answer to a trivia question, which was in a website browser address bar, what does WWW stand for? The correct answer is World Wide Web. Now, for teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question In what year were the first Air Jordan sneakers released? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmo.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forge focus. Have a great day!